Hello, I want to take a few minutes and talk to you about a uh, new French Laguerre style knife that uh, I've received that I custom ordered. This particular knife is from uh, Laol Honoré Durand, and uh, that company is actually in the village of Laol in France. And um, they have a really, really nice website. Uh, there's an English uh, version of the website. You can uh, order directly from them. And what's nice about their uh, site is that they have uh, complete customization that you can do. So you can pick the size of the knife, whether you want a corkscrew or a uh, punch or all three, the type of blade steel. They have choices of uh, uh, XC75, which is a carbon steel, uh, 12C27, uh, Sandvik stainless, or 14C28, which is a newer Sandvik stainless steel or versions of Damascus steel. You can pick whether you want bolsters or not, um, one or two, if you want uh, brass or uh, stainless steel. Um, and then you really get, and then you can pick the, uh, the handle material and then you can really get specific with um, uh, file work or hand chiseling of the uh, back spring and or the liners. Do you want a colored material in between the uh, handle and the liners to sort of set that off? Um, the back spring, how do you want that uh, chiseled? And, um, and then the bees, and they have actually very specific photos, uh, many, many different photos of uh, specific uh, styles that they have done in the past. And so when you're ordering, you can actually pick uh, you know, I want this uh, version number four, um, and that's that's what I ordered. So um, I just received this in the mail, uh, packaged very nicely. It took them about three weeks to make that, and then uh, mailed it FedEx. It took about three days for the FedEx to arrive. Um, super, super happy with the quality of the knife. This uh, particular knife is a 12 centimeter uh, Lyol style, so that's the length of the handle. Um, the handle material is, um, I, I've done one video before from Fontenay Pateau with the same kind of handle material. Uh, this is a fossilized molar tooth of a woolly mammoth. And for some reason the way the uh, uh, molar teeth are, the way they mineralize and absorb the minerals and when they slice it in a particular direction, it gets this really nice striped colored um, look to you can see up close just just beautiful you can they have you can find pinks and blacks and uh, all kind of browns I really like this brown brown color uh, fit and finish on this knife are just excellent um, this particular knife I did not order any um, chiseling or filing of the back spring um, sometimes especially with a really busy handle material like this um, the chiseling or filing is just a bit too gaudy and it kind of takes away from the knife. So I went with a very simple, plain, uh, smooth finish, but I did order a special bee that I particularly liked with the little um, dots on the, uh, the head and the wings there. And I think it, it's a really nice, tasteful, um, again, it's a forged one-piece uh, mouche or the bee on the... Um, on the back spring and then hand chiseled um, to put the little accents on it. Um, it's a 12C28 steel blade with their uh, with their mark on it, highly polished. Um, they even did a um, little free engraving on the blade. You can put your last name on there. It's a little laser engraving, so they put my last name on there. Um, Again, just really beautiful workmanship. Things are fit very, very well. The uh, color of the uh, molar tooth is really, really pretty. Uh, the spring is very stiff. Um, so it holds it open quite well. The uh, blade centers very well. There is a little bit of play when it's closed. If you push really hard, that's just the... Um, uh, the little back of the blade uh, helps it stand off from the spring so when you close it it's not going to hit the, um, 
the uh, spring with the tip of the blade or the edge of the blade, which was um, a typical problem with the uh, original uh, style Lyoles from the 1800s and up through the uh, through the 50s and 60s until they sort of figured out how to have a little kick there to uh, protect the blade. Um, people were very easy to work with. I uh, did my order online. I had a, custom, a couple of things that um, the, the particular shape of the uh, the B and the filing that I wanted them to do. Um, I couldn't. There wasn't a selection for that or a place to put it in. So I just downloaded the uh, picture and sent them an email. Um, and uh, they were very responsive. They got back to me right away. Um, let's see if I can get a little more detail of the decorations on the moosh there. The B. Um, yeah, very, very responsive, got back to me right away, communication was excellent. Um, again, quality of the knife is really, really, really outstanding. Um, very beautiful knife, the, uh, the mammoth tooth um, is very warm feeling in the hand. Um, the knife is quite solid, it's a fairly, it's a fairly heavy knife, I don't know if you'd want to carry this in your pocket all day long or, uh, or in a sheath. Um, I did not order a sheath with it and it uh, didn't come with one. It did come very nicely boxed. It's always nice to get luxury items from France. They come in a little box and a little bag and a little envelope and a little wrapping and makes you feel like you've gotten yourself a present. Um, but again, this is uh, Lyol Honoré Durand. Um, I'll put the link in the uh, in the video if people are interested in that. And this is uh, again one of the uh, better quality Lyol style knife makers actually in the town of Lyol. Um, um, just just a really really nice workmanship. Their, their company is uh, uh, offer a, a program where you can actually go there and purchase a, a kit of one of their knives with a forged uh, B and they'll uh, take you through during the day and teach you how to do the file work yourself and fit the knife, pick out your handle, and use their machinery to um, uh, grind the uh, handle down and do all of the polishing yourself and at the end of the day you take home the knife that you've, that you've made but it's, it's a nicer quality knife because the, the bee is forged and you've done the file work yourself so that's kind of a neat option that they offer. They also have a museum there at the site and I had a couple of questions about some antique Lego knives that I have and they responded within a couple of hours with some photocopies of some pages of a book that they had um, with some more information for me. So uh, very, very responsive and uh, very, very nice people. I highly, highly recommend them. Thanks for watching.